And hey, hey, let me ask you a quick question. Do you believe that I can make this basketball shot? Let's see. Well, now you do because you saw me make the shot. Now, some people say that seeing is believing, which makes me think of another question. How can you believe in God if you can't physically see him? So for the month of June, we're gonna focus on something very important. We're gonna take a closer and a deeper look at what faith is. And faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Faith is so important because it changes the way that we live, it changes the way that we think about God, and it changes the way that we treat other people. And there were a lot of people in the Bible who had a hard time seeing God, and yet they still put their faith in God. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at Hebrews chapter 11, and we're gonna read about these people and their faith. And the first verse says this, Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. That is what the people of long ago were praised for. Faith is about believing in things that you can't see by starting with what you can see. Now, I understand that that's a little hard to understand. It might be a little hard to grasp. So let me explain it to you in this way. We can't see God, but we can read stories of people from the Bible who chose to trust in God even when things were difficult, even when they didn't know how things would turn out. They chose to trust in God's promise and that one day that he would send the rescuer. And so the writer of Hebrews tells about these people in Hebrews chapter 11. So let's talk about some of them. Let's start with Abraham. Now Abraham and his wife named Sarah were very old in age, right? They were around 100 years old. And here's the problem. They've always wanted their own children, but because of their old age, it seemed impossible. But God gave him this big promise. God told Abraham to leave his house and to go to the land that he would show him and that one day at some point in the future that he would have his own child and that he would be the father of many nations. Abraham heard God's promise but he couldn't see it at that moment. And even though he couldn't see it, he still chose to obey God and he put his faith in God. And because he put his faith in God, other people in his family and in the generations to come also put their faith in God, such as Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. Another person that chose to put faith in God was Moses. So let's talk about him for a little bit. God used a burning bush to communicate with Moses. And God told him that he was going to use Moses to free his people out of slavery in Egypt. But here's the thing, Moses was unsure if he was the right person for the job, but he still chose to obey and put his faith in God. So Moses went to Pharaoh and he demanded that he let his people go. And because of Moses' faith in God, he freed his people out of slavery from Egypt. Another great example was King David. Now here's the thing, David knew that God chose him to be the king, but he was running away from King Saul because Saul was trying to take his life. And so David had to be patient. He couldn't see God's promise at the time, but he chose to obey him and he chose to put his faith in God, knowing at some point in the future that he would be the king. So, None of the people that we just learned about could see how God was going to fulfill his promises at the time. And so they really had to put their faith and their trust in God and trust that he had a bigger plan than they could ever imagine. So how were they able to put faith in God? Well, they remembered how God worked in their lives and in the lives of people throughout history. And that's why they chose to believe and put their faith in God. And here's the thing. We all have an amazing promise from God, right? 2,000 years ago, God sent his son Jesus Christ to this world to die for the sins of humanity. I mean, that's why he went to the cross. And so he died and he rose again. And because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, anyone who puts their faith and their trust and believes in Jesus will not perish, but have eternal life. And so when we follow Jesus, we have the amazing promise of eternal life. But how can we follow someone that we've never seen before? Well, that brings us back to faith. And in Hebrews chapter 12, verses two to three, it says this. Let us keep looking to Jesus, 
He is the one who started this journey of faith. He is the one who completes the journey of faith. He paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. So think about him, then you won't get tired, you won't lose hope. Sure, we can't see Jesus with their eyes, but we can see is how God moved in the lives of people from the Bible, and we can see how God moved in our lives and how much he blessed us. And so even though we cannot see Jesus, we can see God's promises in our lives. And so here's the bottom line that I want you guys to remember, and that is you can know Jesus even though you've never seen him. Okay, let's all end with our new memory verse, and it comes from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, and it says this, Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this time of worship, and always remember, let's continue to live a life of faith, okay? Faith is believing in what we can't see because of what we can see. And so with that said, Pastor Tim out. Always wash your hands. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. Pastor, Pastor Tim. Tim. Oh.